In the last session, we have learned how to calculate new profit sharing ratio under case 1 when old ratio share sacrificed and new partner share is given. In this session, we learn how to calculate new profit sharing ratio under case 2 when old ratio is given, share surrendered is given and new partner share is not given. Case 2, old ratio is given, share surrendered is given by the old partners but new partner share is missing. Here share sacrifice is not given, share surrendered is given. Sacrifice means whatever is the share will be multiplied with what they are sacrificing and they give the answer. Share surrendered means they give us the sacrifice share before multiplying the old share. Here, in the previous case, share sacrifice was there. How to find share sacrifice? Old share into share surrender. 10 rupees is the share. Of that, he is sacrificing half. So, 10 into half, 5. That 5 rupees is called as share sacrifice. And then half is called as share surrender. In short, the share before multiplying with old ratio is called as share surrender. When you multiply, it becomes sacrificed. Step, same step as done in the last case. New share, old share minus share sacrificed. The only thing is sacrifice share we have to find out. How to find? Old share into the share surrender. Whatever is the share of the old partners, let us see how much they are surrendering. After multiplying, we get the share sacrifice. Once you finish this, new partner share is not given. Now, first partner sacrifices 2 rupees. Next partner sacrifices 1 rupees. So, how much is total sacrifice done? 3. That becomes the share of the new partner. Because they are giving 2 rupees to the new, he is giving 1 rupee to the new. Total of shared sacrifice by the old partners becomes the share of new partner. Let us see how to take up the problem. X and Y are the partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 7 is to 3, old ratio. They admit Z into the partnership. X agrees to surrender half of his share. They are not mentioned. Huh? X has sacrificed. X agrees to surrender of whatever his share is. Of that half is surrendering. So when you multiply that, we get share sacrificed. Y agrees to surrender one fourth of his share. Both in favor of Z. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio by using the three steps. Let us see. Step 1. Share sacrifice is equal to old share into the share surrender. First of X. Then Y. What is the old share? 7 is to 3. 7 is to 3 means what? 7 divided by 10. And 3 divided by 10 are the old shares. Will multiply. Multiply by what? Share surrendered by them. How much? X agrees to surrender. Half. How much Y agrees to surrender? One fourth. Let us multiply. 7 into 1, 10 into 2, 7 by 20. This is 3 divided by 40. We got the share sacrificed by the old partners. Now the regular step. New share of old partners. That is old share minus share sacrifice. Let us see how to do that. Step 2. New share of old partners, old share minus the share sacrifice. First, X and then Y. What is the share, old share of X and Y? 7 is to 3 means 7 by 10 and uh, 3 by 10. From this, we will minus what share they have sacrificed. As per step 1, how much sacrifice by X? 7 upon 20. How much sacrifice by Y? 3 upon 40. LCM. LCM, how to find? We have learnt now. 10 and 20. 20 is the LCM. 20 divided by 10. 2. 20 divided by 20 is 1. So what we get? 2 into 7 is 14. Minus 7. Nothing but 7 upon 20 is the new share of X. In the similar way. LCM 10 and 40 will be 40. 
40 divided by 10, 4, 40 upon 40 is 1, 4 into 3, 12, 1 into 3 is 3, so 12 minus 3, what you get is 9 upon 40. These are the new shares of the old partners. Now, what is step 3? Share of new partner also is not given. How to find out? Whatever is the share sacrificed by the old partners will total it. Will total it. We get the answer. What they have sacrificed? 7 by 20 and 3 by 40. So, when you take up this step 3, step 3 is going to be share of new partner. Share of new partner. There is no need to show that total share sacrificed by the old partners. That is what you should remember directly here. Share is sacrificed by X. 7 by 20 plus Y. 3 upon 40. LCM comes to 40. 40 divided by 20 is 2. 40 divided by 40 is 1. 2 into 7. 14 plus 3. What you get is 17 divided by 40 is the share of the new partner. Now this shares what we got. The share of X, the share of Y and the share of Z. We'll put this in the ratio that becomes our new profit sharing ratio. Here, new ratio. Of whom X is to Y is to Z. All the three partners. Share of x, new share of x, 7 divided by 20 of y, 9 divided by 40 of z, 17 divided by 40, denominator is not the same. We go for LCM. 40 divided by 20 is 2, 40 upon 40 is 1 and this is 1, 2 into 7, 14, 9. 17. So the ratio what you get is 14 is to 9 is to 17. This is how we calculate the new ratio in this case too. Now let us take up one more problem on this type and see how to calculate the ratio. Problem 4. A and B are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They admit C to the partnership. A agrees to surrender one-fourth of his share and B agrees to surrender one-third of his share in the favor of C. Calculate the new ratio. Same steps. Step 1, 2, 3. Let us see first step 1. Share sacrifice. How to find share sacrifice? Old share into the share surrendered. A. And then of B. What is the ratio? Old ratio. 3 is to 2. That means that is going to be 3 by 5 and uh, 2 by 5. This will multiply with what they have surrendered. A agrees to surrender 1 by 4. B agrees to surrender 1 by 3. When you multiply, what you get is 3 divided by 20. 2 divided by 15 are the shares sacrificed by the old partners. Step 2. New share, old share minus share sacrificed. Old share minus share sacrificed. Of A and B is what we have to find out. So the old ratio 3 is to 2 means 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. From this will minus what they have sacrificed. What A has sacrificed 3 by 20. What B has sacrificed is 2 by 15. Comes the LCM. 5 and 20 when you calculate the LCM what we get is 20. Now 20 divided by 5. Multiply this by 4. 20 divided by 20 is 1. So 4 into 3. 12. 3 into 1 is 3. So what you get is 9 upon 20. This is the new share of A. B. 5 and 15. Simple. LCM is 15. Divide by 5. 3, 15 divided by 15, 1, 3 to 2 is 6 minus 2, what you get is 4 divided by 15, we got the new shares of the old partners. Share of new partner is also missing, how to find out? 
total of share sacrificed by the old partners. What old partners are sacrificing? 3 by 20 and 2 by 15. Let us add that. Share sacrificed 3 by 20 and 2 by 15. When you find the LCM, what you get is 60. The LCM, what you get is 60. If you want, how to find the LCM? Yeah. It is 20 and 15. List number is 2. 20 divided by 2, 10. 15 cannot be divided. Again, 2. Then it is 5 and 15. We can take 3 first, then 5. Or directly, we'll take a 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 5, 20. 20 into 3, 60. Is our answer. 60 divided by 20, 3. 60 divided by 15 is 4. So 3 into 3 is 9. Plus 2 into 4 is 8. 17 divided by 60 is the new share of the new partner. Now, the last step. We want the new ratio. New ratio of whom? A is to B is to C. A's new share 9 upon 20 is to B's new share 4 upon 15 is to C's new share 17 upon 60. When you go for LCM, what we get is 60. 60 divided by 20, 3. 60 divided by 15, 4 into 1. 3 into 9, 27. 4 into 4, 16. And 17. So the new ratio, what you get is 27 is to 16 is to 17 if if you can simplify this you can simplify but this cannot be simplified because all three numbers are not divisible by once any one single number so what is the new ratio 27 16 is to 17 in this session we have learned how to calculate new profit sharing ratio under case 2 when old ratio and share surrender only are given in the next session We'll again learn how to find new profit sharing ratio under case 3 when old share and new partner share is mentioned and nothing else. Thank you.